AppSmith Tutorial for Beginners Hello and welcome to our channel, WebOS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use AppSmith. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to appsmith.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know AppSmith, it is an open source platform that helps developers build, deploy, and maintain internal apps in which it simplifies front-end and back-end integration between UI and the data source to optimize building applications. And to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail. And to see those plans, kindly click this pricing option on the top panel, in which upon clicking on it below here, it will show you the plan including the free, business, and enterprise plan. And below each plan, you will see the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included. But in those plans, I'm going to choose the free plan. And to proceed, kindly click the sign up button on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, in order to create your account in AppSmith, all you need to do is to enter your email address and generate your own password. Or alternatively, you can continue using your Google account or your GitHub account. But in those options, I'm going to choose to continue using my Google account. So kind of click on it and you will be directed in here. And from here, the next thing that you need to do to set up your account is to fill out all of the required information by answering the question right here. In which below here, you can simply select your answer on the given choices right here. So let's say I'm going to select an technical as a primary skill set. Well, for the next question, what are you planning to use AppSmith for? I'm going to select personal project. So kind of click on it and proceed by clicking the get started button right here. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page and it will show you a pop-up window to welcome you to AppSmith and to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to build your first app. And also from here, it will show you that you're currently on your first applications or process of generating your own app. But if you want to go to the home page of AppSmith, all you need to do is to click this button on the top left corner and below it will show you the other options and proceed by clicking the home. And now that you're currently in the home page of AppSmith, on the top panel you'll see the two options such as apps and templates, in which under the apps you will be able to create your new workspace and within that workspace, you can create your own app, in which from here you will be able to view, edit, and delete applications as well as to create a new ones. While under the templates right here, it will show you a variety of templates that you can use as a guide in generating or creating your own apps. And aside from that, this template option are helpful to users to get started quickly and easily by providing them with a library of a pre-made applications across different use cases in which these templates are designed by professionals and can be customized to fit the user's specific needs. And also under the templates option, you will see on the left side panel some of the themes that you can choose in finding a specific template that you prefer. We have here for operations, marketing, utilities, finance, and any other themes. Now going back to this app, option on the top panel. From here, to start creating a new application, you could also add a new workspace by clicking this plus button that says new workspace, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you that an untitled workspace has now been created. And on this workspace, you can start creating your first app. But before that, let's start first by customizing the title of this workspace. So kindly proceed by clicking the three dots from here, and below it will show you the other options, but in those options, can you proceed by clicking your workspace name, in which from here you can start customizing or entering your preferred title. So let's say sample app, and after that to proceed, just click the new button below, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, in which from here, in creating your application, you have the two choices to start from a template or to generate page from data table, but in those options, I'm going to choose to start from a template. So kind of click on it, 
And from here, the next thing that you need to do is to simply select a template that you want to create with or you want to use as a guide in creating your first app. So let's say I'm going to choose this applicant tracker. So kind of click on it. And after that, it will show you the preview of what the contents of this template looks like, including the page, the design, the dashboard, and any other details that you can find on this template. And to proceed, just click Add Selected Pages. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, to start customizing your applications using the given template that you choose, you can use the upside panel which contain the editing tools to edit some of the elements and customize the design of this application. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you will see here the number of pages that this app contain, in which we have here application upload and track applications page. And by simply clicking on any of those elements or contexts, you will see on the right side panel the properties of those specific kind of elements. While on the left side panel, you could also explore some other widgets, including the text if you want to add a context to your app. And aside from that, by simply clicking on any of the contexts that this template contain, you will be able to customize the context on the right side panel in which you will see here under the content, the general, in which from here you could start customizing the context of your app. While under the style options right here, you will be able to change the layout, the color palette, the design to make it more creative to look at with other users or to make your apps more interesting to views or visit. And since the template that we choose is the tracking app, the purpose of this template is to provide users with a starting point of building apps that can track things like an employee time, IT assets, expenses, orders, and many more. And as you can see here, by simply clicking on any of the elements that this app template contain, you can start customizing any of those elements using the left side panel editing tools. And also, if you want to rename this application from Applicant Tracker, we're going to change this on the right side panel under the general, and we're going to enter here Tracking Applicant. And aside from that, those contexts, you could also change the location of it to your app to make it look more professional and to make your application more interesting to use. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also add a lot of widgets including a chart, a media file such as audio, a video, an image, and other kind of content in your application. And now, if you are now done customizing your apps, to save the changes, all you need to do is to click the button on the top right corner that says Deploy. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, it will show you the preview of your application that you have just been customized using the template. And from here, you could also explore some of the pages and try to fill out all of the required information to test the use of this application. Now, going back to this page, from here, if you want to share to your team the application that you have been generated, just click the share button on the top right corner and from here all you need to do is to enter the email address of the recipient or the members of your team and proceed by clicking the invite button. So that is just how you can use AppSmith. Thank you.